In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach the metal-wise inverter welding and cutting power supply to the plasma machine. And that includes the metal-wise 45, metal-wise 85, and the metal-wise 125. The 45 is a 220 single phase, and these two, the 85 and the 125, are 380 volts, three phase. For the 85 and the 125, both come with the air regulator already installed. Now, connecting the 85 and the 125 is exactly the same. So we're gonna start with those ones. So, the arc voltage and the plasma or control signal, they come with the CNC unit. The plasma control signal connects with the smaller of the two connectors, whereas the arc voltage connects with the bigger of the two connectors. The plasma control signal cable is not sensitive to polarity. So when you are connecting it, you can connect it anyhow. The cable is attached here and this one here or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Whereas the arc voltage cable is sensitive to polarity. So when you connect it, number one, you connect the red positive cable and on number two, you connect the blue negative cable. Your cables may come as blue or brown. Brown is positive. As you can see, the arc voltage comes here and the control signal is connected here. And then the last thing you have to do at the back is to connect the nipple for the air input. You have to take off the protective cover and attach the nipple. And that's the back done. Let's move to the front. Now, in the front of the machine, that's where we attach the torch. Now, what we need to connect is the air pipe and the cable for the electrode. You simply untighten the plastic hand nut, pop the lug in, and then you tighten. Before you put the air pipe in, you have to insert the plastic protective cover, remove this rubber cover, insert the nut and tighten. Once it's completely tightened, you tighten the plastic protective cover. And all that's left now is to connect the earth clamp. The earth clamp goes into the work cable connector. Use your Allen key to make sure it's tight and secure. And that is it. You have successfully connected your 125. It's exactly the same as for the 85. Now, let's move over to the 45. With the 45, the air regulator is not pre-assembled. So we're going to do that now. Start by attaching the air pressure gauge onto the air pressure regulator. Inside the packet with accessories, you'll find the nipple and the quick release valve. The quick release valve goes to the out and the nipple goes to the in. Then you connect the air pipe from the inverter to the quick release valve on out. Then first you attach the bracket to the machine. After that, you release the nut on top of the regulator. 
slot the regulator in and simply tighten the plastic nut from the top. For the 45, both the arc voltage cable and the plasma control signal cable are connected to a single integrated connector. Starting with the plasma control signal, we connect it to pins 1 and 2, and the polarity doesn't matter. Now, the other cable, the arc voltage, the polarity matters. So, the positive, the red or brown cable, goes to 3, and the negative, the blue or black cable, goes to 4. Obviously, you need to solder those cables to make them robust, then close the connector. Also need to close this side to make the cables nice and robust. And this is where it gets connected to the inverter. that's it for the back of the machine now let's move to the front for the air pipe you insert the plastic protective sleeve and you screw it in here you also tighten the protective sleeve for the electrode you loosen the plastic end nut slot the lug in and tighten the plastic end nut Lastly, the earth clamp. You simply insert it and turn it in a clockwise direction. And that's it, you're done. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And remember, you can find more videos like this about our wide variety of am.co.za products on our Achievement Matters YouTube channel.